Morning world. Uh, today is the last day of Gen Con and everybody's real sad. That silhouette is a sad face. Uh, I spend most of my morning getting some shit together and packing because uh, Derek has to ship out stuff on a pallet and we bought some stuff so it was kind of frantic. Uh, and I am now meeting up with Gavin, Becca and Garrett and we are going to paint some My Little Ponies. I found it, it's one of the giant games. This is a giant game of Oh No You Don't. I painted a burning horse. Burning horse? I painted May from Overwatch because she's cute. Hello, what are you painting? Uh, this is Wonder Horse in the prog in progress. Wonder Pony. So, and uh, that's the thing. So that's the next one. We just went and uh, got Derek some food because he was super hungry and, and we had something to eat too. It was really good. Uh, we went to some food trucks. Now we're going to check out the quiet room, see what that's like. And then some exhibitor hall stuff. Yay! We found the quiet zone. It's behind the escalators. We just went to the quiet room and it was so good. Yeah. It was so good. It was so, it was... Peaceful. It's like, yeah, peaceful is a really good word. And everybody, and I didn't know this, and this is my fourth year, everybody needs like 10 minutes of just peace during this convention. Definitely right. Just to decompress. Go, just for 10 minutes, just go into the quiet room back there. Just, just sit there and it, it'll just decompress you. So good. So, your laser rider's ready. Oh, yeah, here, let's get the Oh, you're oh. all. So, your laser rider's ready through space. You're trying to tag these prisms. So, see the little prisms yep. on the board? You're trying to get your piece to go completely through it. So, it can't be like that or like that. It has to go all the way through it. And then, once you get it all the way through it, it turns your color into a scan line. Okay. Um, whatever gear you're in, those are the pieces that you can use. Mm -hmm. So there's five straights, there's one, two, three, four, five straight, one, two, three, four, soft turn, and then one, two, three, hard turn. So it's 45 degree and then 90 degree turns. Okay. Uh, if you want to go straight, it's no problem, you can just put a straight piece out. But if you want to turn, you have to roll the die and you have to get your speed or higher to successfully turn. So if you are going faster, it's harder to turn. Uh, also, you can crash into other people. So, if you crash into somebody's line or somebody's ship, you would just clean up your whole line. And also, you can steal this, this, this right here is Nicole, and uh, back there, so the, the glasses is Anthony. And these two people are amazing game designers and very good friends of mine. And they have made a game called Resistor. They're working on an awesome game called Cobalt. Uh, currently, this is a um, laser maze. And uh, oh, laser rider, I'm sorry. Which is like the most awesome game. Essentially, it's like a Tron style game uh, that can be played on any table. And the table size will dictate how long, how big your board is going to be. Uh, just introducing Gavin over there to uh, Malifo. Uh, more like Malifo through the breach, their RPG game, because the world is super interesting and I think he would really like it. So. He's considering maybe getting the book. So that could be good. Um, we are currently in the exhibitor hall, just making a final dash to see some exhibitors and, and maybe buy a few things if we want to. Just, can we open that? Oh no, it's really good to have an official counter in the building of the exhibitor hall. How depressing. Ended up buying a, an art book by Steve Prescott. He's a, an artist that illustrated what what books again, Derek? Uh, like White Wolf, D&D, &D, Magic. Did you say Pathfinder too? Um, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. 
I am buying this beautiful dress. We'll post a picture of me in this dress uh, shortly, but I'm actually going to pick it up in uh, that wine cover right there. together hanging out outside the exhibitor hall right now. I have a feeling they're about to break. It is high noon. <laughs> and they're about to break the news to me that they're about to all abandon me and go back to their homes, which is a total lie. Their homes are where I am. So they should just never leave me. I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. I really miss these guys. I really love them and have a good time with them. And four days is not enough time. Dying the slow Everyone's death. leaving. No. This, this is the sound of people leaving Gen Con to go home. This is the sound of sad nerdage. Derek and I are, um, we were just packing up some stuff so that we can ship it out. And then, and now we're just kind of laying down for a second because everything's been so busy and it's the first time we've really caught a break. And then we're gonna head to dinner at Harry and Izzy's again. Which should be really nice. Uh, maybe some gaming tonight, that'll be fun. It's a sad day, always is. Stuart left, Matt left, Sander left. Gavin's leaving tomorrow morning. Bick and Garrett leaving in the evening. We are at Harry and Izzy's with friends. Just gonna get friendship dinner. Harry and Izzy's was actually incredibly nice. It was nice and relaxing and we didn't have to be anywhere right afterwards. So it was really nice and relaxing. And uh, we got to see like a ton of friends. There was like 20 people all together that, that are um, game designers and event organizers and all that. So those were all the people that were way too busy to talk to us at Gen Con, but they're our friends. It was nice to be able to hang out with them and finally catch up and say hi. I'm super sad that most of my family has left but I, like i can't i can't really complain because it is sunday and people have to get back to their real life and gen con wouldn't be gen con if my friends weren't all over the world and this was the one place i got to see them at but it makes me super excited for gen con 2017 and um i'm just like i'm already talking to all of them on facebook again so i'm just it's it's that bittersweet thing right well i am back in the hotel room now and uh Becca and Garrett are flying out tomorrow evening, so they're going to pack up some of their stuff, make sure everything fits in their suitcases and that they're not overweight and all of that stuff. Derek has gone to a work after party um, where everybody gets to celebrate another Gen Con in the bag. 
So that's awesome. And Gavin, well, Gavin has to pack a little bit. He is tired like everybody else. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. It might be nothing. We might just rest. Tomorrow, tomorrow we have a room in the West End and we are going to gather together all the stragglers that are left over and play some games with friends and have food and relax and have a relaxing time. I lied. I am not going to sleep, which is what I would love to do. Um, Derek, Derek was really like, oh, do you want to come? come to my work thing, it'd be really nice, you know, you really don't have to, and I was like, fine, fine, it is midnight, but I will brave the streets of Indianapolis, and uh, come to see ya, so I'm on my way. I do, I do have to say that this is Sunday night at midnight, and um, there's people back there behind me still playing games, and uh, right behind me over there, also playing games with their nerdy friends. Don't let it die. <laughs> Convention center is completely empty. And so are the streets. Indianapolis goes back to normal. It is completely and entirely fascinating to come into a space like Indianapolis where the city is pretty much, I mean, if, usually there's not much going on, so it's empty. And then um, overnight, it just, the, the convention center is empty and overnight everything fills up and 60,000 people just blast in from out of nowhere. Hang out, <laughs> the happiest bunch of people for four days and then all of a sudden just, I don't know, everything's just back to where it was. It's, it's almost like, I don't know, it's like everything happens at a blink of an eye and you're kind of like, did, did that just happen? It was great. It was very smooth. And there weren't a whole lot of problems and everybody was happy. And now we're really tired. Did you have a good time? Yeah. I had a good time too. You did a really good job and I'm I'm incredibly proud of you. And uh, I, 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 you're an integral part to the show being awesome and everybody enjoying it. So thank you. Sure. It's the people who run the events that matter. I love you.